Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. Today I'm going to show y'all how we can create some Christmas in July decorations. There's no rule book when it comes to Christmas in July. So I'm just going to show y'all how we can take some items that we may find at the thrift store, we may find out yard selling, or from the Dollar Tree. We're going to take those items and I'm going to show you how we can create and make some really pretty decor for Christmas. The first thing I did was I googled just to see what Christmas in July is and how it got started. There's a few stories out there, but this one right here, it said it started at a summer camp back in the 1930s. They just wanted to make an event around July 24th and 25th to just recapture Christmas, to have a second Christmas in summer. So that's what we'll do today. Since the weather's pretty, we can get outside and do some spray painting. I'm going to start off with this project. This project right here is not anything new that I come up with by no means. If you go out to Pinterest and you search on snowman hats, there will be a hundred different <laughs> snowman hats that will come up. But you just want to take a plate charger and a tin. And I got my tin at Goodwill and I paid 59 cents for it. My plate charger, I got at Dollar General. But you just want to get a plate charger and a tin or you can use whatever sizes that you want. I'm going to spray paint mine black. Now I used some cheap uh, Walmart spray paint. And once I got it painted, I did not like how shiny it was. The best black spray paint that I wished I would have had on hand, but I didn't, is this right here. It's the Rust-Oleum Ultra Matte in black. This right here, I think, would have gave me the coverage and the color and the tone that I wanted. So I had to go inside and give it a couple of coats of black chalk paint just to dull the shine. Once the paint dried, I took it back outside and I used a clear coat a spray sealer on it and I, sp and I sealed it really well. Now this little tin right here will make a great little gift around Christmas time if you want to fill it with goodies or if you want to take it to an event, fill it full of crackers or cookies or candies. These little snowman hat tins make the cutest little receptacle to put things in. Now I just hot glued a little band around mine and added a looped bow. Now, there's so many ways you can embellish this little hat, and I hope to make some more of these when Christmas comes. Because, like I say, you can give these as a gift. You can take the lid off the tin and fill it with all kinds of little hot chocolate candies or treats. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. Now, while I was at Goodwill trying to see if I could find some things to create for Christmas without having to go to my storage unit, I found this beautiful frame. Now, I've already got a graphic that I've printed out from the Graphics Fairy, and the Graphics Fairy has a lot of free printables. So, I'm going to take a free printable. I'm going to put it in my frame. The first thing I did was I painted it with some white linen chalk paint. I went over it with a couple of layers, and then I went over it with a damp rag, and I wet distressed it. You could also seal it and then go back over it and use like a brown glaze wax and just wax and those really good crevices of a frame like this. I think that would have been pretty too. Now I'm just going to cut out this beautiful um, graphic that I got from the Graphics Fairy. I'm going to put it back in my frame and now we got a beautiful piece of artwork that we can set out in our vignettes. Now the next project is going to be a couple of Dollar Tree items and another graphic off the Graphics Fairy. I printed this one out and as you can see it ran off the paper so I'm not going to waste it. I don't go to the Dollar Tree as much as I used to but every now and then I will stop in. The last time I stopped in I found some beautiful ceramic ornaments and I've done a couple of videos on how to um, you know, upcycle those, but I took these stars, and I thought the stars would make great Christmas tree ornaments, so I'm just going to take the star, and I just use some DIY liquid patina, and I applied that graphic to it. I'm going to let that one dry, and now I'm going to work on this one. 
This is another graphic from the Graphics Fairy. And like I told y'all, I went out to the Graphics Fairy because they have a huge selection of free downloads. Because what we're trying to accomplish here is make some projects that are really budget friendly and you can make these up. You can enjoy them now. And also once Christmas gets here, you've already got some of these beautiful projects already done and ready to, to decorate your home with. Now I apply the little music sheet to my star and while it's drying, I want to capture that little heading on that music um, sheet. It was, I think it said the Christmas tree. So I just cut that out and I'm going to apply it to the center of my star just to add a little bit more graphic to it. Now once the decoupage medium dried, now I'm just going to go around the, the star. I'm going to remove the excess paper using a piece of sandpaper. I'm going to use a pencil, poke through the hole, and then I'm going to add another hanger. Now you can add back the twine that was in it, or you can just add any kind of hanger that you prefer. I'm going to seal the whole thing using DIY liquid patina. I'll go around the edges and the top, and I seal both of my ornaments really well. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Another year went by. Difference this time is that ever since July, I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love for you is true. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment. I want to take just a minute to remind y'all things that you see in my videos now you are able to purchase at Stephen's Unique Antiques. I will leave all of Stephen's information down below. So if you see something in the videos that I do now that you're interested in purchasing, just contact him. Also, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I'd love for you to be a part of my family. Make sure to like the video if you did today. And also, make sure to go over and check out my new channel, Teresa Green. Now, just another thing to think about during the summertime, this is a great time to be gathering our Christmas items for when Christmas gets here. You can find a lot of beautiful home, um, home decor for Christmas at the thrift stores and also at the yard sales. I picked this little basket up at a churchyard sale. I paid 75 cents for it. All I did was I spray painted it white and now I've got a great piece that I can set out and embellish for the Christmas season. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow. Now this project I've already done in a video a couple of years ago and it was very popular. But this is a great time to still be able to pick up these little patriotic hats from Dollar Tree. They should still have these out, hopefully, if they didn't sell out yet. But you just want to take these little packs of these little patriotic hats, remove the elastic and the little paper band around them. I took one outside and I sprayed it white. I took the other one outside and I spray painted it black. Now you can spray paint or paint yours any color you want. And here is a hint of why <laughs> you have to be careful doing Christmas in July. My little hat was only out there for, I don't know, for a few hours. I went back to get it and that one had crinkled up. So anyway, just, just FYI, don't leave your little hats out in the excessive heat if it's hot in your area after you get them painted. Now I'm just going to embellish this one using a little, a little bow. I'm just using some scrap fabric that I have. I ripped it in shreds, in shreds. I just ripped it in strips and now I just tied a little bow around the center of it and I've got a three loop bow. These little bows right here are very easy to make. Now for the band of my hat, I'm going to just take another piece of the ripped fabric. I'm going to fold it in half and tack it down with a little bit of hot glue because I don't want the band to be too wide. Now I'm going to tack it on using a little bit of hot glue. I'm going to tack it down to the fabric using my hot glue so it'll stay secure down on the hat. 
Be really careful with your hot glue gun around your little hat. If you touch it to your hat, it will melt the plastic. Now I'm just going to attach a little bow to this one. I'm going to add a little piece of Totally Dazzled Jewelry, and I'll have a link down to their website down below. So if you want to get some bling from Totally Dazzled for your projects, I'll have the link below for you. Now I think this little hat turned out adorable. Now the other one, I did the same way. I just embellished it using some ribbons, and I found a little Christmas embellishment that I had in my little box of little supplies that I keep. Now we've got some cute little snowman hats. You can hang these on your Christmas tree or set these out in your vignettes. This holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin. Now the next project is also going to be a thrift store find. I found these little bronze or copper little shoes. They're little baby shoes on a little a little placard and then it's got a little frame at the back. Now I have put this in my, my um, vintage booth at Stevens Unique Antiques and it never sold as is. So I took it back home. I thought, you know what? I'm going to take it apart and we're going to make some Christmas decor out of it. So there was little screws on the bottom. I just unscrewed all the little components. And now we've got a beautiful, we've got this piece right here we can do something with. The other little piece, it looks like a little picture frame. And then also the shoes. So I'm going to show you how we can dress up these little three pieces and make some pretty Christmas decor out of it. There's so many things that you can do with this, but since it's got little holes in it, I think I'm going to put a piece of decoupage paper on it. I just went over and spray painted it really good with some white um, spray paint, and then that way my background now is white. Now again, I went out to the graphics fairy, and I printed off this graphic. It was free, and you know, I'm just going to go with the white um, paper. This is just some plain printer paper, and I use an inkjet printer. Nothing fancy. I just printed it out, and like I say, since this piece has got holes in it, you know, I want to just go over it with something where the holes will not show, and you can definitely use a piece of decoupage paper if you want to, but I thought this right here was really pretty, and I just love this Christmas writing and the, you know, just the black and the white. Now, I've let my decoupage medium dry, and once it dried, I went around the edges really well. I tore off all the excess paper that I could, and I also went around with my sand paper, and I smoothed off the edges. Now, while I was doing this, it was so close to the metal that I, I nicked some little places and I knocked the paint off. So, I'm just going to go in with a little brush. I'm just going to touch up those little places where, you know, I hit the paint. And now we've got a great little piece that we can set out at Christmas and set, you know, different things on it. We can put some ornaments on it. You can also put some candles. There are, you know, just so many things now we can use this little stand and pedestal for. Now let's make something out of that little bronze looking frame. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to it. I'm going to spray paint it white. And this is the great thing about Christmas in July. The weather is nice. We can get out and we can spray paint. So I just went over it with a couple of layers. Then I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to trace around the inside of the frame because I need a back. Now I'm just using a piece of scrap cardboard that I have, but you can also use, it is a thickness of poster board. But I'm just going to, I cut out two of them because I wanted a good, you know, solid structure. And I just used my glue stick and glued them together. Now I'm just going to go around my little image. I'm using the same image that I got off of the Graphics Fairy. I love this one. And you can also resize the graphics that you find. You can resize them to fit your project. And that's what I did with this one. I sized it down to fit into my frame. 
Now just using a good quality glue stick, I'm just going to glue the little graphic onto my piece of poster board and that's all we're going to do. I'm going to insert it back into the frame and now we've got a great little piece. You can use this to set in your vignettes or you can put a little hanger on it and use it and decorate and use it for a Christmas ornament. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside and just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness. We come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow is falling down. Now we've got those little copper or bronze, whatever they are, little baby shoes left. I went out to Pinterest and I saw this idea. They just put some little, you know, little um, ribbons on them and just strung them up and used them as little Christmas ornaments. And that's all I did with these. I'm going to use them the natural color that they are because I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I can always later on, when I get tired of them like this, I can always go and paint them if I want to. I just used some um, scrap flower sack cloth. I ripped it and then I just hot glued it onto my shoes and made little streamers and tied it on to some really pretty Christmas greenery. Okay y'all, just to remind us that it is Christmas in July, so we can also, while we're making these great fun projects, we can also enjoy the beauty of summer. And I found this beautiful butterfly in my driveway and I had to get some footage of it. Y'all, I love video and butterflies. They're absolutely gorgeous and they love to be on camera. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today and getting some ideas and inspiration for Christmas in July and making some fun projects during the summertime so we'll always have them for when Christmas season and winter gets here.